So when we started the nursery and we didn't really have a lot of knowledge, we were looking for books to teach us, you know. And somebody told me we need to go up and talk to the extension agent. So I went up there and, and I sat down with him and I said, you know, we have this idea we're gonna start growing native plants. And he kind of looks at me and he says, well, who's gonna want that? And, you know, th that's the craziest idea I've ever heard of. And I said, well, you know, it may be, but you know, here's a list I have of 170,000 plants we need for our first job. And he just went, what? He couldn't believe it. And after that, he was our biggest advocate and it was a huge help to us. And that was my first uh, foray into dealing with extension. I don't think we could have done it with, without IFAS itself. One of the, the very first things that a new extension agent is tasked with doing is setting up a program advisory committee. And so in talking with different people, the first name that continued to come up over and over was, you need to talk to Brightman Logan. You need to talk to Brightman Logan. Beyond just his work in native plants, Brightman has kind of an unusual ability to see the future. He can understand how the activities that we're engaged in throughout Florida, how it impacts the environment, and how it overall impacts our community. And so our community gardens program, he helped us establish that here in Pasco. Without him, we would not have this award-winning program. In 2008, the nursery had gone through a lot of upheaval. And so when that went down, I started an organic farm just to try something different. And we would bring these kids out. But the thing that struck me was when they would come out to the field and we'd pull a carrot out of the ground, they go, what's that? You know, carrots come from Publix. And it was the detachment that people had from where our food comes from. That's kind of what really got me going. Then I came up here and I sat down and talked with Whitney and we brainstormed and then she really took it from there. So it's, it seems to be about horticulture. It is about gardening and about growing your own in an environmentally friendly way, um, but it's really about empowerment and how we're able to empower our communities in social, environmental, and economic ways. It means so much to have uh, supporters like Mr. Logan. He really brings people on board. He is a great facilitator in terms of really bringing the right people to the table. In addition to that, I think Mr. Logan's passion is so infectious. The passion for community, the passion for bringing uh, those who are underserved to the table. So we're really thankful and grateful for the work that he's been doing. It really means a lot to me to be, to be able to do this. And the first time it really hit was when we opened the first garden and they had all these kids come. And they were all so happy and they were into it and they had their parents there. And it was kind of, you know, kind of brought a tear to my eye really that, uh, you know, this thing could work and we can impact people's lives. And we want to continue it too. You know, we want to expand this out. I think it'll have an impact uh, far beyond Pasco County.